this is my crash register app on in this app it has let me just show you how it runs real quick it's just a simple cash register app so for example if we click select pants there's 20 already preloaded let's just say we now say okay we want to buy 10 pants and then we buy the quantity has reduced to 10 let's just say t-shirts for example each one is 20.99 let's say we buy five and buy five uh, the prices the total quantity has reduced to five let's say we pick this without actually selecting the product it says okay select the product it shows an instruction telling us to select the product if we do shoes for example we pick five and buy it's reduced to 45 so um let's now say okay let's go to the managers tab so for example it shows the history this is the pants we bought the t-shirts we bought the shoes we bought and that oh these are the total number by 10 so now let's try and restock now presently we have pants we have 10 pieces of pants and shoes 45 so let's select let's just try let's just select uh pants for example i will say restock 66 pieces now it becomes 76 and then let's say shoes we add another six to it so that to make it 51 let's say six and we restock this it becomes 61 so let's go back let's go back to our cash register if we check here we have 51 shoes and then 76 pants let's take one out again from the pants let's take one it becomes 75 so let me take you to the back end of my code so um yeah i have the model model class the um, mvc model view and controller so in the model class i have the let me add add class basically this basically adds to the product list every time so let's say um product list so it basically adds to the product list every time this is the preloaded value and then the price of each one so quantity is 20 and the price of each one is so for example quantity is 50 price is 90 each one and then um so add delete so delete delete quantity from the product list directly then i also have the purchase product containing the total details of each product purchased by the user and then here's a collection of purchased which adds to the array of each products purchased and so let's go to my view class in view folder so th this custom button is just a design showing okay then the design for the button and this is just like products table showing the product price product type and quantity and then now let's go to the controller class 